Hello Aquarius, um, this is Daisy, aka the Professional High Priestess, and I'm here to do your February 2020 reading, okay? So this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node for February. Happy birthday, Aqua. So, um, dear bright and well-loving ancestors, what messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node? Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, and North Node. Jesus. I'm going to shuffle this again because this is like, all right, you could be dealing with the Gemini because a lot of those cards were in Gemini's reading. Okay, Aquarius, someone rising Mercury and North Node. Aquarius, yes, someone rising Mercury and North Node. Child. All right. <clears throat> Aquarius. There's something going on here. There could be something going on here with the child's mother or a, a mother figure or a woman that you really want in your life that's very abundant, okay, with the Empress card being here. I feel like this, whatever situation that's happening with this, this Empress, it's destined to happen with the Wheel of Fortune here. There could have been some blocks, stagnations, and delays, especially because I see the temperance here in the reverse. That may have caused some blockages or, or, or some delays, okay? I also see that there could have been maybe um, some lies that were told, and now the Ace of Swords is here to bring clarity and truth to get this wheel moving forward, okay? I feel like whatever lies, deception, manipulation that was going on, right, um, caused a lot of instability, caused a lot of like in, uh, indulgence in your life, caused a lot of um, imbalance. Now you're moving forward to being in this Empress energy and the wheel and being on the wheel of fortune where good karma is coming. You're moving forward. Destiny and luck is, is your birthright. I also see that maybe there could be a mother who's in the hospital or you could be having issues with a mother figure, baby mama, wife figure right now. There could be some instability and hostility between y'all. But I feel like it's because maybe the truth was being withheld in a situation. Now that the truth is out, the wheel can turn forward. What's the Ace of Swords for Aquarius, someone rising? Ace of Swords. Temperance. Empress. Let me shuffle that again. What's the Empress? Okay, the World card and the Wheel of Fortune. All right. Um, I also feel like whatever happened here, whatever lies, stagnation, I said volatility, whoever was causing that, they're going to be out in the cold now with the Five of Pentacles being here. Because as the Wheel of Fortune turns, this is Jupiterian energy, Sagittarian energy could be dealing with one, could be dealing with the Libra or a Taurus. Um, could be dealing with also another air sign such as yourself. And yeah, I said Sagittarius because the Temperance card and the Wheel of Fortune, those are both Sagittarian cards. But from what I see here, whoever was causing stagnations, delays, etc., cetera, um, lack of success, they're going to be dealing with the Five of Pentacles energy, okay, out in the cold. They're going to be dealing with a lot of delays and stagnation. They're also going to be dealing with a lot of sadness and mourning, okay, Aquarius, whoever this person is. I feel like whatever is going on here, um, this is not over with the world card being in reverse. Someone could be at a distance. They could be traveling. Okay. And that's why the wheel, that's why the world card is in, in the reverse, meaning that it's not over because this person is not in your vicinity. Right. But I do feel like there's been some healing here with the five of cups in the reverse. Someone is healed from the past. Maybe someone was stuck in the past, going back and forth to a toxic situation. Now they have the truth about that situation. Okay. With the ace of swords being here and now they can move forward um, you know, on their path towards the wheel of fortune, right? Because they have, they have clarity. They have, they have the truth. I also see that, let's say if your mother did pass, she's now a guardian angel for you, Aquarius. So there's that. I also feel like, um, someone needs to be mindful of the different like projects and commitments that they make because they may be going into things not finishing them completing them and then having like loss and fun and, and delays and at the end because of stagnation or spreading their energy too thin and not being able to focus it into bringing this into a six of pentacles i feel like someone like could have been traveling um and they there could have been like some volatility while they were traveling and maybe they felt like their trip wasn't successful because of that. Maybe someone traveled with their mother and it was a lot of drama and volatility. And it was just like, oh my God, why did I do this? 
I do see that someone is, uh, there could have been like a, a plan or, or an event or something like that, but it's being canceled. Maybe that, cause there was like a shooting or a fight at the party. So be careful with that. I feel like Aqua, there may be some unfinished business with an individual here, but there's volatility between you. So you need to figure out what you need to do to heal that situation, to put this temperance in the upright, to get to this wheel of fortune energy and move forward. All right, let's go ahead and get into your cards. Crystal messages for Aquarius, please, for February 2020. Crystal messages for Aquarius. All right, we have smoky quartz, detoxification. Yeah, I saw that, especially with the five of pentacles being here and the temperance in the reverse. I feel like there was, the situation you were dealing with was toxic, a lot of lies, a lot of chaos, a lot of up and down, a lot of volatility, a lot of competition. And it says here, as I raise my vibration, I release things of a lower frequency that no longer serve me. Yeah, so you were dealing with some people who are trapped in the five of pentacles lifestyle mindset. Now you're moving towards the empress energy. And now you're having a change of scenery with the world card and the wheel of fortune. Because now you see things from a different perspective. Now, with the ace of swords here, you have clarity. Now you know how to move. And it says here, <clears throat> a change of scenery helps me have a fresh outlook and new experiences. So Aquarius, um, you're going to be moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune here and, the, and the, the, the world and the Three of Wands. Those are travel cards to me. So I feel like you may be moving to a new place. You know, Aquarius is the wanderer that you guys like new new people, new close, new, new places, uh, traveling, exploring new things, uh, meeting new people. So I can see that. All right. So what is, uh, messages for Aquarius, please. Someone rising Mercury and North Node for February. Messages for Aquarius. Yeah. Grief here. I, like I said, I feel like someone is mourning. Like th there could have been a loss of a mother. She's not your angel with the grief card being here. I also said that there's, this is the end of a situation that was pr really tumultuous and, and it's done with. Okay. Then you have the insecurity card here with the five of pentacles. I feel like I said, you want to move towards somebody or something or make a reconciliation or get this wheel turning, but you feel like you're not in control of your destiny. You're insecure in terms of how you can make these things happen. And then you have impasse here, okay? And with this impasse card, this usually to me is like being, being at a standstill, not knowing which direction to go with that three of wands being here and the wheel of fortune. Not knowing which direction to take or move forward to, but the Wheel of Fortune is right here, meaning that you're going to be moving forward, you know, regardless, because the wheel has to turn. You just have to decide how you want that wheel to turn. That's what I'm seeing. Messages for Aquarius, someone rising, Mercury and North Node. Messages for Aquarius, someone rising, Mercury and North Node. Messages for Aquarius. Okay. So first we have adventure, 55. And then remember I said that there's travel going on here. So I feel like you could have been traveling or you will be traveling in February. Be careful who you travel with. That's another thing. Because you don't want to be going and dealing with toxicity and fights and arguments. Make sure you have your money planned out too and together as well, Aquarius. Then we have individuality here. I feel like another thing that this could be also discussing is like letting go of codependence. Maybe you were attached to people, places, groups, and things like that that were toxic. And with the Ace of Swords, now you're seeing the truth and you're cutting away and you're, you're standing out as an individual. Then you have synchronicity here. And then with the synchronicity card, that's like paying attention to numbers, animals, people, colors, all those different things that are leading you towards a, me a specific message. Okay. So let's see, did I get everything for Aquarius? Yes, that was everything for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, I hope you enjoy your reading. That is for the month of um, February, okay? So you're gonna be traveling, you're gonna be detoxing, you're gonna be healing from toxic situations from the past. You're gonna be moving away from things that are causing you delays, okay? You could be canceling people, places, and things because they are toxic and you wanna change the scenery, all right? Ultimately, you may have been in an impasse in the past, like not knowing which direction to take, but now you're moving forward with the Wheel of Fortune and recovering with the Five of Pentacles from any type of financial loss, being out in the cold, etc. That has happened. You have new adventures here, okay? And you have to really learn how to express your individuality. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. So if you want a personal reading, um, go ahead and check the description box below. Uh, everything that you need to know is there. But again, Aquarius, enjoy your February. Happy birthday.